Hello and welcome to the Mega Breadvan channel. Yes, we've actually got a video about Mega Breadvan for once. So the last video I put up was about a boat trip in Brantom. But uh, I think that uh, the channel is going to be a bit more varied from now on. Um, a few bus things, a few car things and so on. I've got a video that I'm doing at the moment to do with um, cars which will be the, uh, what is it called? It was a car meet anyway in the place called um, uh, Montpont Ministrel, which uh, is in the Dordogne. It was a good event and that's going to come up next and then I'm off to the UK soon, uh, so that's going to be fun. And when I come back there's an event not too far away from here uh, with American uh, cars, not necessarily muscle cars but just all American cars. And that's going to be held on the local Intermarché car park, so that could be fun. Anyway, back to Mega Bread Van. Um, I've been fiddling around trying to think about how to have an auxiliary power unit. Um, I don't know why, but I got onto this idea of um, having solar panels and all this sort of thing. But looking at that, uh, I thought it might be a bit expensive. And I don't really want to spend too much money at the moment on, on the van. Uh, but I thought I'd use a battery pack that I've already got. Um, the idea being that it will power up um, my phone, recharge your phone, a fan for when it's hot. It's not that hot at the minute because we're in September. Um, all sorts of things like that. Um, I can think of things to power up, but it, then it takes strain off the battery on the, on the van itself. So... Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but you'll have to tell me. So let me know in, in the comments section what you think. Anyway, I'll just show you what I've been up to. So it's all going on down here. So the battery pack is in what was the glove box. Uh, I need to find a way of attaching that to the glove box. I tried with some, some Velcro and some sticky back uh, tape, but it, it just wouldn't stay, wouldn't stick. So I need to think about how to stick that down because as soon as I go around the corner, that's going to fall out. But uh, it's a start anyway. So I've got this battery pack that I bought quite some time ago from Lidl. And uh, you've got a, a lead that can plug into a female cigarette lighter socket. But you've also got jump leads. You've got all sorts of things you can plug into it. So it's quite a useful bit of kit, you know, I've had it for quite a while and uh, it's, it's always been pretty good at charging things up. It hasn't deteriorated in any way just yet. Uh, and then you've got another cigarette lighter plug, a male one, goes up into this multi-plug that I bought some, again some time ago. It's been sitting in the box and it's not been used and I actually bought it for the van. But you've got... Um, some plugs on there you can switch off the these various cigarette lighter sockets and the best thing is about this thing is it gives you a readout of um, you know, where we are with the the battery pack so at the moment I'm charging up my my phone my, my second phone that's a phone I've used as a security camera in the past and you know it's going to be sort of auxiliary phone for other uses um, because my own phone is a bit big and chunky to go into this um, but I guess I could use that as well just have to swap the lead around because this is a US, an old USB it's not USB-C but that's been sitting there for about an hour on charge and it's taken um, it's gone up to sorry 26% so that's not too bad so yeah the idea of having an auxiliary, auxiliary pack is to power up things like uh, a fan uh, we're in September, so we don't really need the fun. Um, charging up phones. Um, I was thinking as well, um, a heater. Uh, I've got um, a Bluetooth speaker that uh, I can charge up now and again. So it's always useful to have an auxiliary power source. Um, and it takes strain off the battery for the actual van because, well, I don't really want to deteriorate the battery uh, too much um, I'd rather use it to running the van so anyway you probably think I'm a bit daft doing that but uh, it's just an idea but talking of other little, little things electrical I need to also sort out this light and there has been talk about me getting some LED lights to replace this 
this is just a conventional on off switch light um, you know you flick this back and forth to switch it on and off and it's very flimsy uh, so the idea is probably to put some lighting on this back bulkhead but again it's it's something to consider having it off this auxiliary power uh, rather than having it wired into into this which um, seems to fail but uh, yeah anyway I'm just thinking about that aloud there you know so uh, yeah um, it's the start of a few projects I suppose watch this space well I think we'll wrap things up there um, I don't know whether I'll put it on the Mega Bread Van Notes channel or on this channel perhaps I'll put it on this channel because we're sort of lacking a uh, video about Mega Bread Van at the moment so yeah, any suggestions, comments about what I've just uh, showed you rather haphazardly um, about this uh, auxiliary battery pack that I'm working with. Um, I just um, think that it'd be a good idea to have a separate power source. Um, I don't know why, it's just another project, me tinkering and messing about I suppose. But, you know, I did think about solar panels and things like that, but, you know, it's just not not really viable at the moment it's going to be very expensive but uh, yeah i um, hope you enjoyed this little short video and i'll see you again soon take care bye support mega red van hill